Hello and welcome back to Fuck You, That's Bullshit, the game. Uh, yeah, I know, but may as well continue as you mean to sort of, you know, carry on, I guess. He is watching. We cannot leave. Was this the door I came in? Whatever. Oh, we get to the save point. Even though this is pretty much where I left off, but whatever. The journal Sebastian Castellanos. The bad news is that I've been reassigned to a new partner. The good news is that Mira said yes. Yay! But even the bad news isn't so bad. Joseph is a great detective and we're a good team. Crimson City needs more men like him on the force. It'd be an honor to be working with him. But sometimes it feels like bailing out a boat with a giant hole in the bottom. For every crime we solve, it appears that ten others are committed and... Uh, right, yeah, I forgot I can't scroll. Uh, I suppose I better go and brain juice myself up a bit. <laughs> nice. Just one harpoon in here. Yeah, why not? I've got some juice I can use. And some sarcasm to dish out. Necessary for me, my ass. What? What was that about? I have absolutely no idea. It's been a while since your last visit. Well, that wasn't my fault, was it? Lady, I got chased by some gigantic tungsten-made spider creature that wouldn't flinch when I shot bullets at it because of gameplay reasons. So yeah, that's the reason I haven't been visiting for a while, mainly. Oh right, well, this is awkward. Leaving. No, please don't open it slowly. Ugh. Go, flee, Detective Cheapass. Let us get some upgrades. The most upgradey upgrades one can get. Okay, let's have a look. I got ten matches. Weapons. Uh, let's see. Ranged charge time. I thought there was an ability on this thing. Uh, I was imagining things. Maximum sprint. Ugh. Melee damage. Ugh. Swindon recovery. Ugh. Critical level up. Clip capacity for the pistol. I could have sworn there was a damagey thing for this. Didn't I upgrade this in some way, shape, or form? Maybe I was imagining things? Agony bolts? Ah, here we go. I was leveling up harpoon bolts, wasn't I? 10,000 points needed for a lot of percent. Okay. Well, yeah, why not? Shotgun ammunition to 6. Handgun ammunition to 25. That's quite expensive. Weapons. Damage multiplier. That's pretty cheap. Let's up I'm using the pistol fair work, honestly. Critical percentage. I can upgrade that. No. Maybe not. Reload time. 500 points. Well, you may as well. It decreases it by quite a whack. Six. That's a thousand again. Why not? S one. Ugh. 3,000 points remaining. Is there anything I can do here? Fire rate, reload, clip capacity. Critical, yeah, again, why not? Add some chance on it. Alright. Good stuff. Let us leave to the world of tomorrow! Oh, you know, the regular world that happens to be crappy. He's watching. Please, no. Chapter 5, The Inner Recesses. <laughs> Any dudes in here? Nope. I open all doors with force. Is that Leslie or is that a... Uh oh. Oh, it was just a really, really bad jump scare. My bad. Please, sir, may I have another? Don't possibly get enough of these jump scares these days, you see. And while I don't find them particularly effective or even interesting, I really would like if we could get some effective ones. Of course, if the camera wasn't pooping, that would be easier. This one appears to be locked. Or jammed or stuck. Oh, great. Well, I can't see him. There he is.
Man, what an asshole. You know what? I'm gonna burn you for good measure, dick. Yeah, bite me. Oh, I got three shots of that left. But hey, that worked relatively effectively. I'm gonna start using my handgun a bit more since I've got full bullets for it. Ooh, brain juice. Yoink. Just as well I spotted him at the edge of that corridor, though. Ah, <laughs> man, I know I'm ragging on this game a lot. I really am, but this is almost like. Hold on, I gotta pause to articulate myself here. This is almost like Babby's first attempt at horror, which is really, really mean to say, because the guy behind the driving force behind this is one of the veterans in the series, you know, he's the guy who re re made Resident Evil, he made Resident Evil 4, you know, uh, Mikami, and, like, but it, all this stuff just seems like, okay, okay, right, guys, make spooky sounds in this room, why, just do it, it'll be spooky, okay, guys, guys, make this man at the end of this room, okay, then he turns around and goes, ah, oh, I like it, yeah, good, good work, man, you, you put that, you put that in, that's, that's really spooky, yeah, Oh well. Is that my shadow? It is. Ooh, brain juice. Yoink. The only... Again, it's... This game is just simply bizarre, and I imagine that's the point, but... It's so Looks disjointed. Like I down. Yes, I figured, thank you. It's so disjointed that it doesn't make... You just can't really... I can't find myself getting into this. One minute you're in a forest, the next minute you're in an underground cave thing, and the next minute you're here in the hospital again. It's just like what? Alright, do I really want a bottle? Let's throw it down there. Is there anybody down there? Uh oh. Never mind. Ah crap, I'm full of handgun bullets. Damn, what a waste. In a game that's as vicious as ammo as this one is, I need to be really careful. Oh, well, maybe I can shoot some bastards. Sorry, I'll just cut my hand open to get some matches. Is there any bastards in here to shoot? I feel like I'm really wasting ammo here. I mean, one thing you can't fault the game on is the, uh, the graphics are absolutely stunning. It's a shame about everything else, honestly. Need to find a key card. Jammed! Stuck! It's locked. My god. Don't kick me, you big asshole! Oh good god, can you take enough bullets? Whatever, at least I've got an excuse to get some ammo now. Yink. <laughs> Should've done this in the first place. Wow. I have absolutely no words. None. I... I'm not going to say I'm surprised. Perhaps just disappointed. Perhaps that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, man. That sums it up, doesn't it? That really does. Goodness me. Harpoon bolt, there we go. I can make an extra one of these now, at least. For those who don't realise what I'm harping on about, the, the ammo disappeared. Which is staggeringly poor. Mind. No dudes in here? We dudeless? Cthulhu dudeless? 
general doodless? No dudes, yoink. Surprisingly effective. Sure, I missed my first shot. I thought he would come through the door. My bad. That's poison arrow. Let's see what we can do with this. How many thingies do I have? Nope. I need carpoon bolts, so which are two each. There we go. It's a shame again I can't pick up a bolt that I've missed, really. To the, to the game's credit, this stage is a little bit more tense, but again, it's just so disjointed. I find myself really not caring about where I am or why I'm here. It doesn't make any sense. The people I was with, again, are just pointless. Are you dead, sir? Or are you dead? It's hard to tell these days. Pick up the juice, you fool. I'm full on Swindon. Oh well, let's just execute this fool. Uh oh. Hospital keycard. Can I burn this guy? Because if he comes alive and I'm not allowed to burn him, I will be irritable. Should probably swim them to maximum until I'm uh, finished. Hello, Foo Foo Monsters, anyone here? Hard to tell. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Get dunked. Are you dead? Oh, come on, man. If he's not dead on that, I'm gonna be pissed. Yoink. I should totally be able to get my bolts back. Ugh, that's so mean. Alright, well, can't waste all of my bolts, I suppose. Better go. Just give me some shotgun shells, let's use a couple of those. I'm too spooky. Damn it, invisible monsters are kind of tedious. Ugh. Guessing we're invisible monster free today. Oh, Dr. Snake Art's here. Ugh, oh, Colonel. I've decided to be an asshole to this guy. I don't even know him. I just decided to ruin his day for no good reason. Ugh. Well, Snake, that's not very nice thing to do. You're not a very nice person. Ugh. Seriously, Snake, you're a big jerk and I hate you. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Snake, I'll tell you. Oh, guess what, Colonel? I thought I was just gonna be sinister. I wasn't gonna say anything, just walk off. Ugh. Well, Snake, that's quite kind of a dick move to do. I know. He has no idea why he's here. What I'm even here for. What's going on? Ugh. None of this thing makes any fucking sense. It's suspense. Da -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. The door! It has gone!
Alright. Some chap covered in some dodgy looking fluids is... Oh, I can get in here. Alright. Yo, kid! Pete, I can't knock on the door. Is this guy dead? Or is he dead dead? Or even partially dead? Here on this wall to your left, you'll see a ample opportunity to spot some real life action cryptic bullshit. You see here we have a brain with an eye socket that leads into a sunflower, which of course leads onto a man holding a brain with an eye above his head, with a heart in another hand, and a very small penis. Yes, don't forget the center on the wall and the rats eating stuff. None of this makes sense, you say? That's quite alright, it's not supposed to. Na -na -na. <laughs> alright. Wasn't cryptic enough for you? Well, how about this trail of blood coming from the spikes that lit on the wall from the two emblems you just pushed on the button? All very cryptic, all very nonsensical. 100% for you. Now, look at this semen colored man scribbling at a table. Ugh. Hello? Salut? I'm here for the cryptic? Ooh, underground facility note. I'm gonna put on my, my very good lies. My voice, <clears throat> even, whatever. Shut up. He lies, and to his own son, his own flesh and blood. It's outrageous. Gone to a better place? That hypocrite. That sanctimonious fool. I know the truth. I know him better than he knows himself. He's trying to punish me again. He always resented our closeness. Thinks he can use it against me. Does he take me for a fool? Laura is not dead. Well... That's Laura in the thing. I'm about to push the button, then she will be. 